Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're looking at some annoying know-it-alls that think they're geniuses and they sure as heck aren't gonna let you forget it. Everybody's a genius on social media, aren't they? I recently saw someone without a calculator for 32 divided by two. I suppose I should be grateful to have a mind that finds that ridiculous. If you're reading this, by the way, I mean no offense. It's just that stuff like that comes to me as easily as walking up a curve. So it's really foreign to me. Like I'm just so smart. I mean, to be truthful, 32 divided by two, like you guys know how bad at math I am. That's not that hard. It's 16. Wait, let me double check. <laughs> Wait, 32 <laughs> divided by two. <laughs> 16. So, I mean, that's not really something to really brag about that you can divide 32 by two, but um, go off sis. <laughs> Popping in here to say a huge thank you to the folks at NordPass for sponsoring this video. Y'all, when I tell you that I have easily like 25 passwords to all of my accounts, I'm not exaggerating like at all. Of course, this means that I don't remember which password goes with which account. And uh, it means that I usually have to guess <laughs> which password goes where. So I'm left pretty much guessing until I get it right. And sometimes I don't get it right and I get locked out of my account. That's super fun. Does that sound familiar to you? Yeah, I thought so. Enter NordPass. NordPass is a password manager that helps users organize their passwords and secure notes. It keeps them in this nifty encrypted password vault which makes them extremely easy to find and it makes your life a heck of a lot easier. NordPass is available for both desktop and mobile and they are currently having their spring forward sale. Get 70% off NordPass at nordpass.com slash Dobre or use code Dobre. Plus you get an additional month free. Once again, thank you to our friends at NordPass for sponsoring this video and uh, I'm gonna go now. As we know, Emma Watson is a superstar on every level. Well, other than the fact that she's not much of an actress. She was dreadful in Noah and a big batch of post Potter things I've seen her in. Not that I'm complaining, really, as she's one hot babe and I'm quite happy to just stare at her. I bet you get all the ladies with that superstar personality of yours. What a fatuous comment. Barely restrained sycophancy dribbling off you there, my dear. <laughs> I voice an opinion. You make a caustic remark, a hominid. Them. Incidentally, maybe look that up. Anyway, being a good looking bloke, yes I do. The ladies are queuing up. You like that thesaurus, don't you bruh? <laughs> I can't even say it. You like that thesaurus, I can't even say it! Thesaurus, you like that here I am making fun of idiots and I can't even say the word thesaurus. <laughs> I think this comment kind of speaks for itself. I love it when people like bring down celebrities, like they really just trash them. I think that that's, that means you've reached celebrity status, right? When people just totally cut you down. To be honest, if uh, she wasn't a good actress, I doubt that she'd be cast in things. Doesn't really work like that. You can't just get cast in things if you're good looking. It helps. It certainly does but it won't get you that far. Last week I corrected my professor in art history class and she took it pretty hard. I basically proved her knowledge wrong and got thrown out of class for it. Thankfully, rest of the students protested this move and followed me out. They asked me to hold the next class at my house and teach them the next chapter. Eventually we all went to the department head and complained so the teacher is now suspended and I have an A in the class. You know, we're in the same class, right? We literally had a lecture today that you didn't even show up to and you have the audacity to spread these lies. Lel! Lel! It's always the ones that think they're too cool for school that are bragging about how smart they are, you know? Indonesia, out Indonesia. Indo in Indonesia comes from the Latin word for India. Thus your meme is metaphorically not funny. But nice try, thanks for sharing and welcome back. Boo! Boo. Boo. <laughs> this is my parade, and this is you writing on it. Shh, shh, shh. It's a fun toy, eh? It's a nice fun toy. Imagine being a regular ass person and thinking you know more than a scientist about what the scientist studies. I actually do for the most part, considering a lot of theoretical scientists search for evidence to support their theories rather than coming to a logical conclusion from the evidence before them. I'm sorry, um, I can't seem to find your degree. Where is it? <laughs> that's me, all right, I, that's me. I don't mean to be elitist about degrees, but I'm just saying. 
I also don't cut people down. For, actually, I did just cut somebody down for not having a degree. But I'm sorry, you can't really call yourself a scientist unless you've gone to school for it. I'm just saying. It's okay, just go to school. If you're really smart, you'll get in. I know I'm probably violating a law, but y'all have to see what I just saw on a resume. Personal information, heredity, son of a Rhodes Scholar, <laughs> IQ 148. Oh, wow. You got your work cut out for you, buddy. You should just hire him on the spot. Ah, uh, son of a Rhodes Scholar. <laughs> it's in my genes. Intelligence is in my genes. You are absolutely gorgeous. I would love to chat and get to know you, perhaps meet and hang out soon, if you are up for that sort of thing. For sure, thank you by the way, how's your day going? So, do you have a licensed car and your own place, as in live by yourself? I do. By the way, apologies, I do not speak hick, ghetto, or tide pod. And I hate abbreviations, you went to school for a reason, so spell out your words just saying. This has been How to Get Ghosted with Charlotte Dobre. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> the average human can hold their breath for 30 to 90 seconds. The cameraman who filmed Finding Nemo. Downvote. Finding Nemo is an animation film, meaning there was no camera crew. It was all made on the PC with 3D software. You know, I don't get one joke usually per video, but like you really like, you ruin that for everyone. <laughs> anyway, you also seem like an easygoing person, which I really adore. So much for the self-deprecating humor already, haha. -ha. Am I being intimidating? I tend to write high level English already up front. Sorry, I'm looking at that period and there's no space after it. I don't need it. But don't worry, you can rest assured that I don't intend to overwhelm, in fact, trying to impress you. You also have a wide pelvis bone, which makes you look fertile and procreation ready, thus more feminine and attractive. Say, like a woman that deserves to grow my seeds. The real question now, will you nurse my seeds and grow them? No! Ugh, that was awful. Awful! Ugh, enough. Stop it. <laughs> Just stop right now. OMG, it's an angel! No, their brain isn't evolved to have sense of religion and afterlife, marked by some act like burial and making humanoid shaped art. They simply don't understand what they don't understand and don't make any assumptions to explain certain. And yet again, this is the joke. Thanks, I hate it. You must be an insulrious cretin if something so benign bothers you. Pretty cringe, dude. If you're one of these people that goes around the internet raining on people's parade and like not getting the joke and just, just, just stop it. Learn how to internet. <laughs> I know some of you might feel attacked. That's okay, I, I, I'm saying this because I care. <laughs> I don't want you to end up on whoosh. It's rather embarrassing. Speaking from experience. Kidding, I've never ended up on whoosh, ever, <laughs> yet. If I say huh like seven times, don't say never mind. Please don't give up on me, I'm trying my best. If someone says huh that many times I'm trying to have a concise and eloquent conversation with them, then they will probably get a roundhouse kick to the face from me because I associate huh with someone of low intellect that cannot discern at least the minimal of their attention and it shows awful deductive skills on top of being extremely rude. Huh? Sorry, I didn't, I didn't catch that. As a person who knows a lot about evolution, I cringed when he said we evolved from chimpanzees. He didn't say we evolved from chimpanzees. He said when our evolutionary paths separated. We got a Charles Darwin over here, guys. It's Charles Darwin in the comments, and you know. Hi to your jokes. Those with no brain can relate. If you get this, I have high respect for you. Attempted murder. I mean... <laughs> Only people of the highest intellect will get this joke. Did I use meme correctly? I do not know much about these things, but I have read Richard Dawkins' Selfish Gene, where he first introduced the term. And apparently it's now used colloquially to refer to image macros and jokes. 
I do not understand how lower IQ people function, but it is fascinating. I would love to continue to learn from you people. <laughs> Silly. Silly. You're so funny. <laughs> do that thing again, that, that dumb people thing. Oh, I love it when you do that. <laughs> I can't understand why people struggle with mathematics at all. Everything is just pure and simple logic. There could also be a possibility of me being a better human being. I sometimes create calculus equations and predict their graphs all for entertainment and fun of it. But probably many of idiot humans won't even understand that. Cool, man. Cool. It's a big thumbs up emoji from me. Also, my like writer brain is looking at this and I'm like... Lots of errors. <laughs> hey man, just because you're not good at math, that doesn't mean that you're not smart. It certainly doesn't. It just means that your brain is probably more creatively inclined. All right, we got time for a couple more. I've had enough of looking at idiots, all right? My IQ is too high for this. It's, it's hurting, but we'll do a couple more. I have a scientific mind. Philosophers have jumbled minds who keep asking the wrong questions, questions that have no connection to the real world. Oh my God, you're so smart. Tell me your ways. You were the smart kid in kindergarten, am I right? After it was on preschool, I was that kid who wrecked the teacher with facts and logic and she couldn't stand me. We would often get into three hour long political debates in class too. Welcome back to another episode of Things That Never Happened. Alrighty guys, those were some annoying know-it-alls. I think they're geniuses. Leave a little, little pencil emoji down below in the comments if you made it to the end of the video and don't forget. Subscribe to my second channel. And also to this channel. I totally ruined that. All right, subscribe! <laughs>